We now have an official statement from 21st Century Fox. I just want to read it to you in full. After a thorough and careful review of the allegations, the company and Bill O'Reilly have agreed that Bill O'Reilly will not be returning to the Fox News channel. Of course, this comes after the revelation earlier this month that O'Reilly and 21st Century Fox had paid out $13 million in settlements to five women who had accused him of sexual harassment and or verbal abuse. It is hard to overstate how stunning a development this is in the American media landscape, certainly in the cable news industry. Bill O'Reilly, of course, uh, the number one most watched figure in cable news, a very powerful and influential voice and very much the face of the Fox News Channel. So a very stunning development today, Brooke. Brian Stelter, stand, stay with me, Dylan. Brian, just backing up. This is all over, you know, multiple sexual harassment uh, claims, this multi-million dollar settlement that came to light. Um, he's been on vacation. He met with the Pope. Today. Today. Tell me more about what you know. That's right. Let me go back to 2004. Bill okay. O'Reilly was sued in 2004, charges of sexual harassment by a former producer. He paid money. They settled out of court. It went away, and he stayed on the air. But a lot has changed in 13 years. Corporate America has changed. Our society has changed. And Fox News, now hearing other allegations of harassment from other women, is no longer able to stand by O'Reilly. I think it says a lot about corporate America, about our culture, and also about conservative media. Some of O'Reilly's fans are going to be furious about this, but he has many, many detractors uh, that were wondering if this could ever happen. You know, three weeks ago, if you and I had sat here and said, Bill O'Reilly might be leaving Fox, we would have laughed at that idea. He was seen as invincible. But even Bill O'Reilly is not invincible. Uh, this network uh, now has a decision to make about the 8 p.m. hour, but it's a lot bigger than that. You know, it's about conservative media more broadly. Uh, and I think we should point out one other historical element to this. Uh, O'Reilly built up Fox News along with Roger Rails. Roger Ailes was the founding CEO, and O'Reilly was his biggest star. And for 20 years, they built this channel into the powerhouse that it is today. But last summer, Ailes was, uh, uh, he was sued for sexual harassment, and then Fox had an internal investigation. Two weeks after the investigation started, Ailes was forced to resign. The same exact thing has happened here, Brooke. About two weeks ago, the New York Times wrote about these settlements involving uh, harassment allegations from women who said O'Reilly had harassed them. He has denied those claims. But two weeks ago, Fox started an investigation. And some women called up and said they too had been harassed. And exactly two weeks of the day, once again, the Murdochs are taking this action.